How's it going, all you beautiful, shiny trophy collectors and hunters? How's everyone doing? Today, we're going to fight this big, ugly bastard. The one reborn. Bunch of mages thought they were going to, you know, just birth a great one. And, um... Oh. Oh. Just... Just no... What the world is that? That is some weird amalgamated, just looks like a tortured soul. I mean, why, why would you want to summon that? It's not even a good boss either. Like, it, it's... Ugh. And it's also not optional because it blocks your way to the Nightmare of Mensis. Um... Colossal Undead Mast. He's assisted by Chime Maidens, which are a red variation, and they're killable. Uh, the Chime Maidens shoot fireballs and heal the one reborn. Gain one insight from discovering him and three for defeating him. You can summon Old Hunter Defector Antle with the uh, Old Hunter Bell to assist you in battle. Uh, it's right at a crash carriage right near the fog gate. Location is Advent Plaza. He will not appear until after you defeat Rom the Vacuous Spider and uh, start the Blood Moon phase of the game. Not going to go through the Blood Echoes on this one because it's just... He gives a lot-ish. Not really. As far as his defenses... He has a 135 physical defense, 162 blunt, 135 thrust, 135 blood. He has a 290 arcane defense, 70 fire defense, and 40 bolt defense. He is not considered a great one. He is not, no, he's not considered a kin. He's not considered beast. And he is completely immune to both poisons at 999. Weak to bolt and fire, strong against arcane. When on the second level, the boss can perform attacks, the attack swinging corpse. So make sure to pay attention to the one reborn while attacking the caster. The corpse at the top, even while not collapsed, takes more damage from projectiles than the rest of its body. Magic deals arcane damage, includes rain of flesh, vein shot, and blast. So you want arcane defense for this fight. Uh, start fight, go to the second level, remove all the giant maidens. Be careful not to knock them to the first level as they are likely to survive that fall. High damage can be dealt to the boss after it collapses. Make sure to strike the corpse protruding from the top of the boss when it's collapsed. Should you hear the torso caster on the back of the boss howl as he channels, back off immediately. It's about to do an AoE that does a lot of damage. Avoid that just by backing off or running to the back end of the boss. If the ball stops and appears to vomit, move away immediately. Um, they're literally vomiting. They're vomiting poison. Uh, fighting him along his side between his legs is a recommended approach. Stay closer to the back of him to avoid the burst damage spells with a uh, spell his raised head can cast. Um, after you've struck the boss with a combo, he may summon a rain of body parts, which tracks you back, step, or dodge until the attack stops. Adopt a hit-and-run tactic. Uh, like amygdala, the larger limbs at either end of the boss can be weakened and broken. You'll see blood coming out of each leg when with comboed hits. Focus on one limb, and you'll break it, causing a lot of damage. Uh, the real strategy to him is just... He's a real easy boss. When you get in there, go kill all the Chime Maidens. Once that's done, get back down on him, and get on to him either with a really quick weapon or huge heavy knockback weapons kirk hammer lowig holy blade um ligarius will um you'll want to target his midsection making use of the specific spot between his middle legs where he has a hard time hitting you alternatively pick one larger leg focus on it weaken it damage it break it choose another one if he begins to discharge or use vein shot rain of flesh you need to run around the arena as a counter Flailing corpses is easily countered by backstepping. He's easy to stagger. He's weak to fire, weak to bolt. Just beat the death out of him. He's really the easiest boss. He, he really is. Like I don't think there's an easier boss than the one reborn. Um, 
quick lore to him is a being reborn as part of the Mensis ritual. Uh, its internal ID is half baked devil. No friggin' joke. Um, quick little notes about him is the arena, of the boss, and the placement of the chime maidens is reminiscent of the Tower Knight and archers and demon souls. Furthermore, Tower Knight's weak spot is in his legs, while this boss is entirely constructed from leg parts. The one reborn also resembles Nito from Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2, the Rotten. Undead am Amalgam's first appeared in Demon Souls. One Reborn's theme much resembles the song The Plagues from the Prince of Egypt movie. So let's uh, hop on over here. We're actually going to be going back to uh, Hypogean Gaul, except now that lantern is broken because we defeated Rom. Where we get respawned back into is a circular room with a small little like pedestal in it and an amygdala above us. We're going to be going to Yarhogul, the Unseen Village, which is the same thing as Hypogean Gaul before we lifted the cloak that Rom the Vacuous Spider was causing. So let's head on over there and see what we can do. Alrighty guys, here we are in the dish that you spawn in after Rom. You can actually come and visit this beforehand just by going to the right at Cathedral Ward before you go into Cathedral Ward to fight Amelia. You can come down, open this door, and I think there's an actual action you can take in this uh, dish or this amygdala to pick you up and take you to uh, Gahargul Unseen Village before the Blood Moon. I believe you can do that. I've never personally tried it. But what we're going to do is we're going to take off straight down these stairs. Don't walk. He'll try and grab you, which results in frenzy and a lot of damage. I run down here past the enemies. Don't worry about them. They don't give enough echoes to care about. Run down the steps. You want to light your lantern right here. And we're going to use a quick speed running tactic to... uh get to the one reborn a little bit quicker. We're gonna fall off right here. This little gentleman in the wheelchair, uh, run up behind him and just quick R to him. This guy's gonna run up at you, just walk around behind him and kill him. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come here, get your foot kind of in the middle of this curb, and you wanna charge R2 at this fence which will cause you to fall through it, land here, and you want to dodge roll onto the corner post right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to dodge roll out, down, and then her, just drop attacker and kill her. That way she can't ring her bell and summon enemies. So from here, we can actually go over here into this Cathedral, kill this sniper because he's going to irritate the hell out of you. And you'll actually recognize this area because this is where the Hypogean Gaul lantern is. But it's broke now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take off down through here. Don't let these things grab you for the love of God. And this is actually where you would have picked up the ten um no this isn't where this is the opposite side of where you would have picked up the tenitrus. We're gonna go through the doors here and just take off running. Never run at these enemies head on or that spike will hit you. Just kind of zigzag your way through here. Those spikes hurt a lot. That archway right there is where the One Reborn is. We're actually going to enlist this helper right here. This is Antal. He helps a lot. Wait until he is summoned before you go in, otherwise he will not be here. He is quite useful for this boss fight just for drawing aggro. Alright, Defector Antal is here. Walk here, wait for him to get there, and kind of stop. Alright, 
walk into the arena and watch a cutscene because they are going to pull the boss from the moon. You can hear them chanting too. This is actually one of the cooler boss summon animations. And we will be employing Bolt Paper because he is most weak against Bolt and Beast Blood Pellets. There's the one reborn's body, and the rest of him is a bunch of amalgamated legs. And he falls right on his head. Alright, and as soon as this boss fight starts, we're going to run straight to the back corner and up the stairs. Watch out, he can still attack you while you're in the stairway and up top. Man, is he ugly. Oh, God. There's a beautiful scene. All right. Straight off the bat. Run over here to this corner. Oh, I went a little too far. Okay, he's not that aggressive right at the beginning of the fight. We're going to go up the steps. Let Antel take all the aggro. One charged R2 is good to kill these if you have a good weapon. So just one charge R2, kill them all because they are annoying as can be. Just take them out. You'll actually uh, upset the boss once you've taken all of them out. It's kind of funny. And you can actually see Defector Antel isn't doing any actual damage to him. He's just keeping aggro. As long as he keeps aggro, we're good. And all we're going to do is just take them all out. Oh, he's actually doing a little bit of damage. All right, so now what we want to do, beast split pellet, bolt paper, and we're going to go full on in at him. I want to get to his side right here between these legs and just go in on him. Just R1, then transform attacks. Get your beast hood up. Step back. Let your stamina recover. And then just go in again. There's a stomping attack. We're good. Go in. And... There we go. There we go. Get that L1 spam going. And this takes out the one reborn really quickly. There you go. Huh. Prey slaughtered. And again, oh, you get three yellow backbones. And again, just kind of use Antal as, you know, aggro. But there you go, guys. That is how to get to, or where and how to get to the one reborn and a cheap way to fight and kill him. Next up, we're going to be heading to the Nightmare of Mensis, which we just unlocked up those steps. So you can light this lantern. We will have to return to this area and go back through it to grab the cathedral, the upper cathedral ward key. But first off, we're going to go to the Nightmare of Mensis, take out... Um, on to... Yeah, we're going to do Nightmare of Mensis first, take out Mikalash and Amygdala. Amygdala actually gives us two trophies. You get the trophy for Amygdala, and you also get the trophy for the Chalice of Elling Loran. But until next time, guys, that's it. Another trophy down. Have a good one. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you know when I throw out new ways for you to get Platinums.